we had a number of requests and uh, inquiries asking people to teach them how to move over to Capture One from Lightroom. They're pretty apprehensive about wanting to move over and people are scared because they don't really know how to use a new program and they think that it's going to slow them down. But in truth, you can actually make Capture One look and function a lot like Lightroom. And we did this video before, but Capture 120 is a little different. So we're going to show it to you guys. And a lot of this comes from using the view option right up top. So we're going to basically the tools are on the right hand side and the browser is usually on the left when you start up Capture One. So you're looking at things and you're like, well, what do I do? I don't really understand. And you should know that you should go and you should set the browser to be on the bottom. And now immediately that's starting to look a little bit more like Capture One. What this will do is there are different ways of actually going through images. And the best way to actually look at them is usually right over here on the right. It's the film strip style. That'll be the easiest for you to navigate through. Now, you want to put your tools. See over here, tools, customize tools. Uh, so if I say place them on the left, let's see what happens. They go over to the left, and that's a little bit more akin to like something you would do when going through your catalog or something like that. A lot of people in Capture One don't necessarily use catalog. They use sessions. I still use catalogs uh, just for my own naming and organizing and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and move the tools back over to the right. And now this is a lot easier for you to manage. It just means that everything is in one place and you just have to look at it and just edit. Now Capture One uh, out of the box usually gives you a lot of editing options and it breaks it down in terms of sections just so you can sit there and you can focus intently. And I like that because it means that you go about editing and focusing on, focus on it in a completely better way than Lightroom did. If you want the Lightroom look, though, uh, I did this before, you would say Add Tool Tab, and you would go for the Quick Options. It is currently not uh, selectable because I did it before. So I'm just going to choose Quick, and now here are the, all the Quick Options. Now, you have stuff like all of your styles. Uh, styles are presets, basically. And so you wanted to edit this image. I want it to look like, I, ooh, that looks really cool. So I'm going to edit that, or select it, rather. And I'm just going to work with it. So now I could say, okay, I want the film standard look, and I want this to be cooler. And now the exposure, uh, I'm okay with that. I think that looks okay. And you can add other things. So lens correction wasn't added in before. So what you do is you right click over here and you say add tool. And then I can put things. I had lens correction there. You can do layers. I have a histogram there. You can do focus. I can do, let me do clarity. So now you have an addition for clarity. A lot of people like the clarity tool. What else do people really like? You have the... I'm going to add black and white because I added color. So if I wanted to enable black and white and now suddenly I can mess with it like that. And you can add a whole bunch of other tools if you want. Process recipes. That's basically what I had before. Sharpening. Cool. That is important to a lot of people. Also spot removal is something that's incredibly important to other people, but it doesn't always work the same way that uh, it would in Lightroom, unfortunately. I really wish that it did, but it doesn't. Uh, it'd be nice if I could, like, paint over a section and, like, completely get rid of something, but nope. Uh, you have to create masks and all that stuff. Now, using all this, you can really just go through, like, uh, Capture One, rather. I was going to say Lightroom, but no. You can really go through Capture One and you can create things and edit the exact way that you want to. And you'll pretty much have distraction-free editing. I'm going to... Let's bring that, bring that up, bring that up, bring that up. Cool. Now, when you want to export images, you can go to Export Images over here, and you can select Variants, which are the edited images. And then you can name it, uh, send it to a folder, uh, choose optim uh, Optimize the JPEG Mini, which makes the images smaller, but not losing quality, set your resolution. 
I usually export images at 3,000 pixels on the long side. You can do everything pretty much as you can with Lightroom, except for watermarking in this option. I really wish that they added watermarking. They don't. I keep asking them for it, and they're just like, no, we're not going to do it. Most people are going to do it through the process recipes. The process recipes are basically the same thing. They're just a more roundabout way of doing it, and you can also add things like your watermark pretty easily, and you can see mine is overlaid over there. Process recipes also sometimes arguably faster. I do like it. Um, yeah, it just takes some time to get used to. But, I mean, other than that, Capture One will be a far better editor than Lightroom is. I've always seen that. It's faster. Uh, the only time it's not as fast is, at least for me, it's with Drobo. I'm using a Drobo 8D, and I've never really found Drobos to be the fastest things out there. I actually missed some of my list C drives because they were so much faster. But, yeah. So, this is how you make Capture One look and function a lot like Lightroom. Uh, thanks a lot, folks. Uh, if you have any other questions or you have any other inquiries or requests, be feel free to send them to us. We're happy to help you guys out. And we hope that this helped you in your search of figuring out a better way to edit your images and also to consider moving over to Capture One. Uh, should also let you guys know I'm not sponsored by Capture One. Um, I'm the editor-in-chief of the photographer we've been around for almost 11 years and we are known for our ethics and being very very transparent with our readers so yeah check out our website uh subscribe to us on youtube and we hope that this was helpful take care